Hey, it's me, and I found you. Well, you found me, I guess. I'm here on the, the uh, YouTube, Bob's Daily Devo. And today's word is make, make. Make something of a shelf, young man, make something. And this is part two, two, two videos in one. Uh, I uh, did the earlier video in the gym. Now I'm in the gas car, I'm heading out to LA, and I uh, am going to uh, work on a project uh, out, uh, out that way. Well, it does have me that really, we can't really make a whole lot of anything without the Lord. I mean, the Lord has made heaven and earth. The Lord's done all the real, real tough, heavy lifting. So our job now is to take what he's given us and to uh, use the Holy Spirit inspiration, our artistic abilities that he's given us. Use everything he's given us to, to create and to make life more loving and lovely and awesome for our family, for our neighbors, for people around us. We want to be sure that we've done all that we can to be the best we can be. And that involves not only our, our first relationship with God through the Holy Spirit and through Jesus. Jesus frees us. Until you have uh, Jesus' blood covering you all your skins, skins, <laughs> all your skin, being a blood-washed believer. I've heard that phrase here. I just never heard it really before. Is anybody out there uh, hear what I'm saying? I mean, uh, I never understood before about the blood-washed believer. But the thing is, if, if we weren't washed in the blood of Christ, if we weren't cleansed from all of our sins, we wouldn't be free. We would not be free. Doggy, we would be caught up in our sin and our shame and our agony and our pain, and we would we would be unable and probably unwilling to do much for anybody else. Because if you are a person who is I'm climbing Jacob's ladder. I'm climbing, I'm climbing, I'm trying, I'm huffing, I'm puffing, I'm working, I'm... If you're the one who's doing all that, if you think that's the way to, to get life, health, and victory, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Go get him, slugger. Well, you're not gonna get very far. You just won't. You, you can't. We, we just... It's an it's a impossible journey. <laughs> Talk about ninja warriors. I've been watching these ninja warriors. I really watch, I've been listening. Because, you know, I, the way I watch TV is I have my Bluetooth in my ear and I listen. <laughs> so I've been hearing about some of the stories and I was working on the bunkhouse and. <sighs> okay. And I, uh, in the bunkhouse, and I heard, heard all this, all this excitement about the. Ninja warriors, and they're taking on the challenge, and they're they're uh, scooping up life, and they're swinging by a branch, and they're swinging over here, and they're reaching over there, and they're falling to the the death of death of the ring and the ring of death, and I'm just like wow, that's what people are doing, trying to get to God. They're they're willing to do anything. They're willing to. I'm going to put in the hours. I'm going to put in the hours and hours. I'm going to be sweating. Sweating to the oldies, you know, and they're trying to, to somehow manipulate and strive and struggle their way into the kingdom. Now, I want to stop real quick and just say that <coughs> I got news here yesterday of of a, a person, not a person of interest, a person of love. I woke up in the night and I was holding this person. They were coming out of a room and they had to be whisked away to another room uh, and they've totally, totally fallen apart. This person has totally lost it. They lost their mind. They've gone berserk. They've gone AWOL. They've gone off the track. Off the track. It's off the track. Remember the, uh, remember the old saying, it's off the hook. It's off the hook. And then 
then the parents caught up with it about 10 years later and so now I think all the teenagers are going oh no don't say that you're an idiot what are you trying to talk about oh god no dad shut up dad shut up <laughs> it's off the hook <laughs> you know we, we're always behind the times we you know we as old people we can't really be I don't know why all these people sit there in that first and second lane and they got this number three lane that goes for about 20 miles and, and you get past everybody and then but of course this is the gore point this is the gore point so this is where this is why they probably don't want to do it because it's the gore point and I got gored here once so I can tell you it's absolutely the gore point uh, the guy came by and he squished my fender. I still have not heard the answer on that. I still have not got my $400 back. I'm looking for that $400. I'll tell you, it's just crazy. So this brother, this sister, this person, this this renegade who decided they had, they had worked through. They would worked for literally 10 years probably on recovery and on accomplishment, becoming a uh, leader in the... Uh, I'm looking at this red truck. Wow, that is some kind of red. That truck is like, wow. It's like a candy apple that just pops out and just gives you a bite. It's amazing. <laughs> well, uh, I'm laughing here like it's some kind of party. Listen, this this person that's fallen off the wagon, that's uh, as far as I just heard a report where they're in jail. They've got a baby at home, they've got other children, they've got a loving, kind, gracious, awesome wife, they've got a whole people, whole, whole bunch of people around them that are that are there to embrace, and this, this, this person walked out the door last night in my dream, and I just held him, I just said, I love you, and I'm with you, I just held him, I said, I love you, and I'm with you, and I squeezed him. And um, it's shocking. It's literally shocking. I don't know why I'm so shocked, really. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I should be so shocked. There really shouldn't be any great shock. I mean, we're sinners. Our best works are filthy rags. We're, bu we're a bunch of. We're a bunch of bad dogs who don't can't learn new tricks and uh, and yet we get we get all freaked out and crazy when someone goes off into uh, sex or drugs or a thief <coughs> we just can't imagine what on earth is wrong with that person why would someone throw away everything just sad sad. What are you going to make out of your life? Now, I have, I've been hearing excellent counsel, excellent counsel, outstanding, can I say outstanding counsel from T.D. Jakes, Judah Smith. They're both talking about community. They're both talking about going to breakfast. They're both talking about having accountability <coughs> so that you I fell off the wagon one time I wasn't drinking but, but I had a huge humongous you know I remember being trapped in sin I remember being suffocated by temptation I remember the feeling that I, I could not possibly talk to anybody because it was just uh, well I just uh, huh, huh. well the thing is this is that that this person who has fallen off of the, the edge of the world and crushed, see when you mess up, you're crushing, not only are you crushing your own life into smithereens, but let's, let's look at someone we do know about, Bill Cosby. I, I don't know about Bill Cosby's children. I never heard about his children. I don't know if he has any children. But let's say Bill Cosby has children now. Do you really want to be known as, as, as William Cosby now? Hi, I'm, I'm Bill Cosby. Oh, ugh. oh, good to meet you. Yeah, I, I gotta go. <laughs> or O.J. Simpson's kids, you know. Hi, O.J. Simpson's my dad. Here I am. My name is. Oh, ugh, ugh. 
people people have they, they have a reaction. And this 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 person that's fallen, they are disappointing literally thousands of people. Literally thousands of people are gonna be affected by this person's selfish fleshly cravenous desire to have what they want. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. <laughs> More important than my, my baby and my wife and my family and my I gotta have it. <laughs> and they go crazy. Now, if that person would have called me and I have talked to people over the years, and I've talked to people over the years, people have been tempted by uh, being homosexual. I've been talked to people who have been tempted by alcohol. I've been tempted to talk to people who have been thieves. I've talked to people who have uh, wanted to commit adultery. Uh, my roommate uh, from Bible college, uh, one of the best guys ever, uh, he succumbed to the temptations of sin for a season. And I haven't talked to him in years. I, I just haven't. I, I just so I've kept in touch with his his wife. I went to his wedding in the park down in Orange County, right near the Bible College, and I kept track of his wife for years and years. I leave her a message now and again. Hey, how's it going? This is Bob. Love you. Praying for you. And I stay in touch. I do my best. I do my part. If people don't want to come back, if people don't want to stay in touch, then hey, you know, uh, Pastor Bishop Jakes was talking about that earlier and about how. Can you believe this? This is Saturday afternoon. It's uh, about 1:22, and we're flying. We're coming along here. We're 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 traveling as though it was, you know. 8 a.m. On a, on a weekday. This this traffic is just insane. It's unbelievable. What do you think that God wants to make in your life today? What does he want to make in your life today? What does he want my life to be made into? Well, let's let's go to let's go before the Lord today. Let's ask the Father to show us uh, I had a relative ask me, say, hey, are you going to be going out to L.A. today? So I don't know. I don't know. But I check with my family. I check with Mama. I check with uh, the Lord. I check with, uh, you know, my emails. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and head on out. I kind of, I was kind of a silly old guy. I thought, well, yeah, the furniture. What about the furniture? Now, I thought, uh it's going to be sad. It'll be light. Traffic's going to be light. Just zip right out there. Zip right back. Zippity-doo-da. Zippity-yay. Echo Park. I'm on my way. Hey. But nope. That's not how it's working out. I'm on. I'm going about. I'm going four miles an hour. On a freeway with. Five, six lanes in it. And I can't. I can't seem to get any momentum going. It must be an overturned car, a vehicle, or something. So, all right. Well, God bless you. You want to reach me? Give me a call. Two one three seven one three eight nine five four eight nine five four green att dot net on the Twitter at Mr. Bob 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 eight nine five four. And you're watching Bob's Daily Devo on YouTube. If you just accept Jesus, get to a Bible believing church. If you just uh, want to come out and be there for the barbecue we're going to have in a few weeks. Uh, it'll be real coming up real quick. Saturday, August 26, 2017. It'll be my 60th uh, birthday and my barbecue potluck, and you're invited. So hope you'll come on out and join us. Uh, come on back. With this traffic, I got plenty of time to talk, so I'm going to come back for section three. Yeah.